morning guys I spent my morning doing something absolutely riveting deleting over 700 pictures off of my phone I we are going down to Verizon tonight because we are switching uh, phone carriers and so I'm trying to back up my phone and in the process when you go to get a new phone and backing up a phone and stuff it's a really good opportunity to clear a bunch of junk out that I've accumulated over the past year so that's what I've been doing just like just going through it and deleting a bunch of stuff but after I had deleted over 700 pictures I was done I was like you know what the rest of these are just going to stay on here I'm done I'm, I'm I mean I've been doing this for over an hour so I was like I'm done um I still have like 2,600 something on there but it is what it is uh stuff doesn't accumulate as much now because i would use my phone for vlogging so i'd go and delete all those vlog old vlog clips but there's other stuff on there that i just want to keep like pictures of the horses because i'll be going back to the barn you know go back to arkansas two more times so i want to keep those and then just some other stuff on there that i don't really want to delete so it was like this tedious process of going picture by picture and video by video on what I wanted to delete and what I didn't. Um, so that's how I spent my morning while I was doing my treatment. <coughs> and <coughs> that also absolutely killed my phone in the process. So I um, just plugged it up and letting it charge and I'm gonna let it back itself up. And here in a little bit, I'm gonna do some walking and eat some Thanksgiving leftovers. The best part of Thanksgiving is, I think, or one of the best parts after Thanksgiving is the leftovers. Um, it's like food for days, so that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, and my goal today is to walk, I've walked the length of this bed, which is like maybe a foot and a half, but two feet at the very most. Um, but I want to be able to walk all the way across, like from wall to wall. So that's what I'm going to try and do today and we'll see how that works i actually i had to laugh at myself last night a little bit because i record stuff on my phone um to put on facebook and send via text because it's just easier but i'm recording the vlogs on this camera now and if i managed to walk all the way across the room i didn't know if i would be too sore to do it a second time so i was like this is gonna look really weird, but I'm gonna have my camera set up recording me at one point and my phone uh, at another thing recording me and just have two things recording me at once. <laughs> so, uh, life of a vlogger. It just made me kind of laugh a little bit. Um, but for now, I'm going to rest and take a mental vacation because I was deleting pictures all morning. And I will see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I did it. I, it's not focused on me, I don't think. I did it! It was really hard and really scary, um, but I did it. <clears throat> and by did it, I mean walked across the hall and back with no crutches. So I'm going to play the tape now, and then I'm going to talk about how I almost didn't do it because it was really frustrating. So I've been working at doing that, first of all, yay, second of all, I've been working at doing that for about, oh, what time is it, 3.56, so about, I would say a good 20, 30 minutes, 
and I just started by doing it over by this bed like I have been doing the back and forth well first I started with two crutches to warm up then I was going back and forth with the bed like I have been doing and it was uh, not easy I was having a lot of trouble um, a lot of pain ironically not pain where the break is but on the other side actually I'll show you so <clears throat> My break is right here. The tibia bone right here is what was broken. Where I've been having the pain is all along right here. It used to be right here, and that's kind of gone away. But now it's all along right there, and it's still swollen right there. And that's because I had uh, stretched ligaments on that side. <clears throat> and so every time I would take a step, I would be in, like, excruciating pain. And... I haven't, I hadn't had that in a long, long time. I mean, today is 12 weeks post brick. And so I hadn't had that in quite a few weeks. The last time I felt pain like that was probably about eight weeks post-op. And so I was like, do I really want to continue doing this? But at the same time, I was like, I know the side I'm like, if that pain had been on the side of where I was, where the break was, or, you know, the heel break at this point, I would have just stopped and been like, no, I'm not going to do this today. But the fact that the pain was on the other side kind of made my mind think, um, you know what? That side was never broken. That side was never going to, you know, get injured worse by me walking on it. So pain or not, darn it, I am going to do this. And I had a minute where I was, I don't know why this is like crooked bothering me. I had a minute, I had a minute where I was like, um, you know what, I, uh, I just, I just sat in this chair and I was just like, oh, like so beyond frustrated, just so over it and beyond frustrated that I was just like wanting to throw in the towel, just like, I don't know, I just wanted to cry. Like I was so frustrated. <clears throat> I was like, I've been working at this. I had been doing no crutches for past two times and I didn't have any problems. Why is this hurting so much? And like, am I ever going to get and take these stupid things and be able to just stick them in the closet and be like Sayonara? Like I wanted to scream and cry and just like everything in between. But I just took a moment, I regathered myself and then I was like, okay, take that annoyance and that energy of ah and turn it into putting more, putting more effort into this and putting 110% and just going for it and you know what, whatever happens, happens. That's, it's just, that's what it's going to be. Whatever happens is going to happen. Realistically, the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to fall on your face and be embarrassed, but you're not going to hurt yourself. You're healed. Just whatever happens, just whatever. That is what's going to happen. So I went back at it worked at it some more the pain started easing off and then i was finally able to do the hallway pass which for me was like running a marathon like that's how good it felt and uh i was i was pleasantly pleasantly surprised that i was finally able to do it despite the hardships because this is not easy this is this is one of the hardest things i've ever done in my life recouping from this like i would venture to say that bit, Fra recovering from this broken ankle has been harder than my previous hospital stays for anaphylaxis and cystic fibrosis. Like this has been a challenge and <clears throat> that I was finally able to do it and just kind of let go of the fear and let go of the apprehension of what's going to happen and just say screw it <laughs> and do it anyway uh, was amazing. But I'm also going to go ahead and upload this vlog onto the computer, computer now um, because I want to upload the video onto the computer because my phone is still, uh, doing its thing. It's still moving the stuff over to iCloud and it's been doing that like all day. So I wasn't able to film on my phone, so I'm going to put the, put the clip I just took onto the computer. But while I'm doing that, I figured I might as well go ahead and upload the vlog since I'll be uploading all these clips anyway. So I'm going to say, um... Thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, my hard but feeling victorious day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night!